These go to 11. The numbers all go to 11. Number 11. Miss Teague and her pushy mom pay Ross a call. Pimping out her own daughter. One need only taste her syllabubs to know their own succulents. She needs to get her syllabubs out of Ross's face. He has no interest in her syllabubs. The syllabubs are wasted here. Did I mention the syllabubs? The password is syllabubs. I'll play. Blamage? Syllabubs. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Number 10. At the ball, Black Adderley sets his sights on Demelza. Demelza! I'm as voracious as a cannibal. Shall we dine together? I'm finger licking good. Yeah, you sure do have a voracious appetite. Wait till you see what I can do with my tongue. Number nine, number nine, number nine. The eerie black moon hovers over Cornwall. Elizabeth is arching her back and moaning in that bed. Yeah, but ain't like last time. Push! Ah! Push with everything you got, woman! Push! Push, sweetie, tickety boo! Tickety what? I'm Dr. Eye Candy, and I say, it's coming! <laughs> Elizabeth, it's a boy. Oh, doctor, may I see my child? Oh, I don't think you want to. Oh, please, give me my son. Number eight. Still scarfing down the strawberries. Wormy hears something outside his window. Rip it. And now another episode of As the Worm Turns. Elizabeth. George. What is that noise? Baby Valentine. No. And Agatha Spots. No. Did I ever tell you what Ross used to put down my bridges? Probably not the same thing he put down my bridges. Toads! Not the same thing. Hideous, ugly, horrible toads. To this day I'm stricken by a terrible case of toadophobia. There was one slimy little green fellow in particular. I still have nightmares about him. Um, hey, are these strawberries for anybody? Hey, Wormy, let's see if you remember this one. Is that a toad in your pants, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Tune in next time to As the World Turns. Number seven. An old friend of Ross is crawling in the town. It's Folly, the mumbling pirate. Sounds like a Lisbon, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Well, the little girls, I thought you were dead. Yes, you've been away at sea for a long time, Folly. You wanted a flood or not? Yes, the winds have been terrible. Oh, it's the same as it is. Oh, you met a lady with huge tracts of land. Yes. You kept your bones in a boat. Number six. Merwinna can't bond with Baby Witless and her sister's concerned. Merwinna, excuse me for saying this, and I don't mean to be overstepping my bounds here, but it looks to me like you are not bonding with that child. I can't stand looking at him. He looks like his father, fat and bald. But how are you feeling? How do you think I'm feeling? This one's sucking on my dick, the other one's sucking my toes. Well, didn't the doctor say no sex until you're better? Oh, that quack. He gives me six weeks. Shouldn't have gone to a gynecologist. Should have gone to a podiatrist. Well, not for nothing here, but maybe I could offer up my toes. You are a hoe. Who are you calling you a hoe? Are you are calling a me a toe, toe ho? I am not a toe ho. You are calling you me fuckers and I am taking offense You ain't got the toes to fill my shoes, this. all right? No, You've always your been a gold digger. No, if you not enough that, what man, I could want. come and you suck on my toes. You could take this bad shit sucking on your toes. Oh, come 24 on. 24-7. 
Number five. Elizabeth is lit up like a Christmas tree. And now another episode of As the Worm Turns. Elizabeth, George, my son, don't fuss over him. Just let him cry. The little f- this little f- is my son and heir. That's what you think. Lord Godolphin was excessively chuffed that I acquitted his nephew. I don't give to. It won't be long before I'm a burgess. You look like a f***ing sheep. Will George succeed on the bench? Will Elizabeth overcome her battle with Tourette's? Tune in next time to As the Worm Turns. Number four. Demelza helps Drake Cakes make his wedding bed. Love may grow. Love will grow. Or, or will, will it? it? And now it's time for the final episode of Oh, That Ozzy. Tim, a winner, dear. Was it good for you? Oh. Well, I didn't throw up this time. How can you not love all the time throwing down here? <laughs> oh, that Ozzy. Well, anyway, it's all come to an end. And Huella and you can go straight to the devil. And you too, sir. Oh, that awesome. Oh, Vicar, the roof is leaking. Call the repairman, my dear. I don't know how we'll ever pay for it. I had hope. The gravy train stops here. Oh, not that awesome. I'm Henry the Eighth, I am. Henry the Eighth, I am, I am. Reverend I'm... Wentworth, stand and deliver. The candlestick looks familiar. Didn't I pay for it? <gasps> I mean, no. I've never seen it before in my life. Who do you want? I demand a shrubbery. Not a shrubbery. Don't forget next week, as the word turns, returns to its usual time slot. Number three. The boys of Cornwall share an uncomfortable moment at the Red Lion. My henchman is so fetched, he can beat your preacher. Your mathery preacher is so going to lose. His scrawny ass is going down. <laughs> Look, Regina George, your henchman's gonna get an ass whooping. Whoever wins the bet, the money goes to charity. Whatever. This match is gonna be so fetch. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's never going to happen. What's so great about Ross? I'm just as cute as Ross. I'm just as smart as Ross. Ross is not the boss of everybody. We should all just stab Ross. Stab Ross. We don't hate you because you're short. You're short because we hate you. <laughs> you're going in my burn book. On Wednesdays we wear pink. Number two. Aunt Agatha and the kids play cards. The halls of Trenwith are a bit windy these days. Cut one. Rip two. Wendy at the beach these days? Wendy is trend with. Gale Force winds, I hear. Oh. Hear me a hurricane. Mm. Category 5, me no Trump. I've got Trump. Oh, shit. <laughs> yep, that too. I bit three farts. Hearts. What did you have for lunch? Beans, beans, nothing but beans. I win. At number one. The season finale opener takes us back to when they were all friends. I'll be there for you when Ross goes to war. I'll be there for you when the friends want her more. I'll be there for you when she's here for them. Hi, I've got some news. I've enlisted into the military. Could Ross be more heroic? What? Ross? What? You're leaving there? Did you hear? I know! I mean, Abs, have you heard? 
Ross, when you're on the battlefield, must run faster! So, Ross is going to be gone, huh? Hey, Elizabeth, how you doing? So, Elizabeth is free? <laughs> Ross, I can't wait around for you forever. <laughs> Fine by me! <laughs> Smelly George! Smelly George! What are they feeding you? Go team! We want Ross! Yes we do! We want Ross! How about you? Rawr.